Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create lazy loading animation in Adobe XD. So now that we have the support of lot animation, it's quite easy to do such animations. And we have a small trick hidden in this. So let's see how to do this. Firstly, let me show you a quick preview of what you're going to build today. So I'll just hit on preview and here you have a button. I click on view profile. You have this cool lazy loading animation and then it goes to the final screen. So without any further ado, let's see how to do this. So first off, we'll take an artboard. Uh, so I'll press on A and then we'll go for iPhone 10. Yeah, this one looks good. Uh, two screens should be enough for now. So let's get started. So first thing, we'll try to create a very simple screen right here. And then just head towards lorifiles.com and search for lazy loader and just go for the first one created here. So this is the one I created. Just open this and you can go here. Just click on download and download this lot animation. So you get the JSON file. So just uh, drag and drop to each of these images right here. So if I just drag it like this, it gets applied. So I repeat this for all the images right here. There you go. We have it applied on all these images. And if you can click on each of these, right, you have this lot animations, which is applied here, which we'll just set it to uh, play automatically and click on this. And that makes it loop forever. So I'll just repeat this. So there you go. And now if I try to place this right, uh, you can see this. So you already have this lazy loading animation right there. But if we have to move to the next screen, we got to use a small trick right here. So for that trick to run, we need a lot of animation, a fake lot of animation to be precise. For which what I'm going to do is just click on any lot of animation. So let me go with this. Just open it up and at the bottom you have this option which says edit layer colors. So just click on that and it'll take you to a new screen. So here you just have to give the duration. So if you want the lazy loading to happen for let's say three seconds. So I'll make it three and say update. So this one gets updated and all you got to do is just download the updated JSON file here. So that's already downloaded and I'll just take it to Adobe XD right here and you just reduce its size and place it anywhere, right? This is just a dummy image that we are going to use for a timer. So just reduce its opacity also and you can also name it let's say dummy timer so just for reference so you have that there and what you're going to do here is we are going to use this as a prototype so you're going to use this option called as end of playback so in the end of playback you want this to transition to the next screen right here so i'll select that artboard right there and by the end of two seconds you're going to transition to this screen so we have that done and i'll do one more thing here so i'll just take a new artboard and here we'll just have a simple button i'm just using this as a reference and now all we got to do is just click on the button and link it to the next screen so on tap you just transition that is done and here we have the auto transition so let's see how this works okay uh, I also missed one more thing here make sure this one's playback is set to play automatically and that's it we are done so let's uh, preview this I hit on preview and I click on view profile you have the lazy loading happening there for two seconds and boom there it goes to the next screen so that's how we can do this lazy loading and it's pretty easy. So as you've seen with lot of animation support, this has become much easier. So I'll be surely doing more tips and tricks videos like this. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and thanks for watching.